بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از سکندر حیات اینڈ آئی ایم مینیجنگ ای آر پی اسٹف پورٹل فار لاسٹ مور دین الیون ایئرس بیسکلی آئی ہیو ایکسپیرئنس آف اوریکل ای آر پیز فار مور دین ایٹین ایئرس اینڈ دس از مائی پورٹل اٹ ہیز مور دین ٹوینٹی تھری تھاؤزینڈ Uh, recently, <coughs> I have added another section on another open source ERP, Udo, uh, and I will be posting uh, Udo related material in this. I thought let me introduce Udo to the community so it might help uh, a few of you. Okay, now let's go to the Udo website. <coughs> Udo is an open source uh, Python based uh, ERP. Uh, the database is PostgreSQL. Uh, database is also open source and Python is also open source. Uh, <clears throat> if we see here Udo, it has different modules and uh, used by around 3 million users it has and uh, company like Toyota is also using it. <coughs> Based on my experience, I will give my uh, feedback. It's not uh, everyone will have the same uh, feedback. And also, Honda is also using it. WWF is using it. So there are different, you know, you can visit their website and you can check. <coughs> uh, <coughs> it has uh, different versions. Uh, one is community version, which is uh, free. But for that, you have to support yourself. So you need expertise of Python, Postgre, uh, and business logic, and you have to understand all those things. Uh, <clears throat> another version is, uh, and in the community version, you can raise your questions here in the forums. So normally these are answered, sometimes these are not answered. It depends on your question as well. Uh, this is a sort of community version, which is totally free. <clears throat> Then there is another uh, version which is called enterprise version. So in enterprise there are two uh, versions. One is hosted by Odoo itself and otherwise is you, other one is you can download and install in your own premises or in your own cloud or in virtual machine or whatever. Now let me see, show you uh, pricing. <clears throat> if you see the Odoo pricing is around uh, 8 US dollar per month. This is per module. Let's say if you just buy CRM, so it will be around this cost. Uh, enterprise, when you will buy, you will get all the modules. This is online, which I'm seeing um, the online version of uh, Udo. Which uh, enterprise version, which you will have, on, uh, which you will uh, install in uh, in premises. <clears throat> There you ask them the price, they will give you the price, there is something, I don't know, per year they will charge you. But it will have all the modules. So it has community version plus, if you see here, these modules uh, enhanced by or uh, few developed by uh, Udo itself. So these will be added in the uh, sort of list of community modules or enhanced. Okay, there is some, uh, I think, discount is also going on for the first time. Uh, at the same time, you can try it for free. It will have, I think, 15 days uh, full version, full working version. Then maybe later if you want to continue, then you can purchase. Okay, now uh, question is, what is the difference? <coughs> this online version uh, will have, because you will not have the control, you will not be able to do customization, and you know, it's uh, maintained by Udo itself. Uh, so. Now only uh, if you will buy studio work, studio with it, then up to certain level customization uh, will be possible. And if you see somewhere, there will be studio here. I can show you studio. It, uh, it Its price is 24 USD per month. Okay. So another version is enterprise, which you can uh, download. But the, quest, the problem is uh, enterprise will not have the source code. It is only provided to the partners. Uh, so this is another challenge. And community version, uh, it is good uh, for uh, expert people. 
but if you don't know python you don't know postgre and you know things like technical things so it will be difficult to manage and if you can't resolve the issues or customization you know you can't do then it will be tough for you uh, another thing is uh, based on my experience uh, people say it is free it is cheap but when you ask any partner uh, the cost they charge for minor changes uh, really is really high and uh, I tried with different partners uh, I found uh, there, there was a expertise deficit as well I was my expectation was a bit high maybe but you know the expertise was not that much and everyone was saying yes I can do but even a standard functionality was there they were suggesting customization so this is dilemma is there you have to be very careful it's not free but if you if it is free or uh, low cost if you will go with the standard edition whatever is there but if you go for customization and you don't know python and you don't know how to customize udo then this would be a real challenge for you uh, rest i think it's a good erp uh, process flow is very nice drill down is excellent um, else everything is fine if if you can manage by yourself very nice uh, but you will have to find a good partner maybe who can you know not charge you high uh, sometime i was able to know uh, the cost it was more than oracle erp consultants which was a bit shock for me that why udu consultants are so much expensive yes there is another challenge that udu consultants are not uh, much in the market because this is totally separate line maybe it, it will grow with the time but so far I feel um, there are less people so might be that's why they mm -hmm. charge high and then there's another uh, good thing is uh, if you purchase and you, there are different modules available uh, as well in the in the website and uh, you can buy if it, there's a cost or you can uh, download if it's a free version <coughs> so there are different uh, possibilities uh, my suggestion is uh, you can register it for free and you can try if you feel it is good then you can go with it else uh, you can try something else it has good options it has pos it has um, sales crm there are different modules very nice uh, another challenge was uh, um, because normally there will be requirement of uh, addition of new reports customization of reports so this there will be some certain challenges in the customization if you don't have the if you don't have expertise so uh, keep in touch and if you have any question related to this one i'm not covering how to install or you know all those customization which we will maybe cover in later in uh, some other sessions so you can keep visiting uh, this section uh, which might have uh, some useful material for you Let's say, for example, I have uploaded a document of um, POS hardware setup for a retail shop. It is really, uh, if you don't know, it's really, I mean, a dilemma to install uh, complete POS hardware like P um, customer poll, printer, barcode labels, things like that. So everything is covered in this. You can go through this and uh, you can raise your questions as well. Hope this video will benefit few of you. Thank you very much. Waiting for your feedback.